Patients can be often surprised at how fast we get rid of the binder after top surgery in my practice. And the reason we're able to do this is the binder, which is typically used for compression from the outside, is really not that important with the drain-free technique. So what is the drain-free uh, drain top surgery technique, or mascoplasty is the other name uh, we coined for it. So basically this is a technique where when we take out the breast tissue, um, the old way of doing it would be we would close up the skin and we'd have a space on the inside of the body. And that's not a good thing because that space forms fluid and so for that reason a plastic tube has to go in there for one maybe two weeks typically called a drain and it hangs out of the body until it's done its job, the body stopped making fluid and then it's pulled out when the patient's awake. So. Uh, about nine years ago, I started doing the drain-free technique and it's very simple how we get away without the drains. So instead of just leaving that space and pulling the skin together, we close down the space on the inside with a special suturing technique, it's called progressive tension sutures. And so this dissolvable stitch that you can't see from the outside closes down that space. And what we found were a number of benefits from this. And so this really became the focus of all my research when I was in academia, we published on it a few times. And so basically what we found was patients are more comfortable after surgery, but that external compression is really not that important. So some patients for whatever reason um, cannot tolerate a binder whatsoever. They have that sensitivity or costochondritis conditions like that. And so that's really not a deal breaker for us in my practice. We find those patients will get a little bit more swollen, but they still can go ahead and have top surgery because we're not depending on that compression from outside. A couple other benefits uh, to the drain-free technique, you get to have a shower whenever you're feeling strong enough, which is usually about 48 hours after surgery. And, uh, you know, the pain scores tend to be better because patients don't have the drains hanging out. A few other benefits, we also found the chances of a hematoma or bleeding after surgery are statistically significantly decreased with the drain-free technique. So it's a wonderful technique when patients request to have drains uh, placed, you know, for that reason, I say I would rather do the safer thing and if you really want drains you should go to another surgeon because that's really what we specialize in. Um, but this is the reason we're able to get rid of the compression very early after top surgery.